All right, we're back. A slight technical difficulty when I tried to, to start up this session, but we're back. Hopefully this will uh, this will work with a, a fresh restart. I did leave my system running all last night. It's possible a bunch of web pages and 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 apps open and stuff that I just I shouldn't have started up OBS and all this other nonsense. Um. Okay, so the only thing that might have been missed here between last session and now is that I just, um, I'm redoing the state building that I was working through, um, about halfway through, halfway, if you, if you watched last episode, I'm just, uh, I'm just about back up to where the, the Myrler Queen, um, is gonna take me on. Just clearing out a couple eggs here. <laughs> What I might do, I might just throw another one of those over there. I don't want these guys coming up behind me. That should about do it. What the hell? What the? Gross. Rude. Gross and rude. Maybe I don't need to be drinking right now. I might be fine on that. Oh, good. I feel ill. All right. So what's our situation? Weary. Oh, I am parched. Okay. I need water. Good. Let's do this real quick then. Oh, I got these rads. These rads are serious here. Okay. There we go. Okay. Cut the shit. Who is that? Wonder if I should use more rad away. Since I'm right here by the water. Shit's got ambush all over it. Now, hopefully, I can sleep here. Otherwise, this might have been a bad idea. The water doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay, I'm good. It just wasn't updating on the... Alright, now... God, there's so many rads in here. Even if I go over here? I'm just trying to find a place where I can put down my, uh... My sleeping bag. Sleep in this puddle. Oh no. I can't sleep while taking radiation damage. Jets. Shit. Like, are any of these corners free from radiation? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. There we go. There we go. Oh, shit. Wait, I needed to... I needed to do a full sleep. My bad. Or at least as much of a full sleep as I can get in this, in this sleeping bag. Okay, now how are we doing? Oh shit, I'm still weary. That's not great. Oh no, because I have insomnia and fatigue. Oh shit. That's not great. It's not great. Uh, might be using... Might be using a lot of those Nuka-Colas. Let's eat some food. Let's drink a Nuka Cola. Shit's got ambush all over it. Gotta open up this door. Hey, who's there? 
I can see this guy's head. You sure you saw something? You know, I might as well just take him out the right way. And this Myrlar Queen. Who's out there? Shit. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Yep. <laughs> Okay, note to self, the, um, Molotovs, they're, they're not good. They're not good against them. I want them to be, but it doesn't do, it doesn't do the job. Hey! Who's there? What I did last time is I just used, uh, I think I just used a Psycho Jet, and that's how I dealt with it. from here. I don't want to risk. I, I, I want to I wait for it. I don't want to risk the queen and this thing at the same time. That gun ults might not be the best. I might use this combat rifle instead. Combat rifle and... Littering and maybe a bottle cap mine. Like as soon as I drop down there, put it like right there. And use these frag mines. Okay, cut the shit. Who is? I should also probably use that. some sort of. Poison resist? Yeah, let's use this. Alright. Oh god, I, st I got stuck. I got stuck. I got stuck against the rock! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Terrible work. Terrible work. We can do better. Who's out there? No, oh, is it always a legendary? bothering me. Stop moving. Alright, so that might have... I, I, maybe let's use... let's try a cryo mine. See how that works. If I didn't get stuck there, I think I would have been more or less okay. Is it moving? Wow. Yeah, it didn't hit the mine. Didn't hit the mine. Uh. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh, oops. small guy he was running towards me ah oh, god i saw it just as i was throwing throwing the mine down damn it okay what the shit who is that we can figure this out maybe i just do what i did last time just use the psycho jet i've just been using them for like multiple multiple engagements in, uh, in recent sessions, and I know all of a sudden I'm going to run out of them, and I'm going to need them. <clears throat> wait for this guy, as always. Oh, wait, he went the different way. No, come on, come on. There we go. All right, let's do all this again. Uh, we want Medex. Sweet roll, dirty water, cram, cram. Shit, that cryo mine, I don't know if it's like not hitting it or what the deal is, but it's not working. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm I'm having issues with this guy. You know what? Let's get by him. Let's stop kiting him around. Let's just kill him this time. Psycho jet it is. Watch, I still won't get him. Sometimes I guess you just gotta take care of business. Alright, let him jump out. Let him jump out. Wait, where's my psycho jet? <laughs> That's definitely the way to do it. Definitely the way to do it. Hey. Alright, so does he have a... He has this hunter's hunting rifle. What's this one I just picked up? Got a suppressed one. Marksman's hunting rifle. 134. 77. Holy shit. 
It's 50 cal though. That one's 308. Oh good, he can carry it. We're good, everything's fine. He has 308 rounds, he has 38 rounds. <clears throat> what was this guy carrying? Oh, so this guy, this, he wasn't a legendary this time. Now there's traps in here, right? Yeah, yeah. I think I looked at this this terminal. Yeah, okay, this was just the um like the sanitation guy or whatever. Pretty ashtray, but yeah, a bunch of garbage. Oh yeah, this is one. Oh shit! Water, water real quick. Huh? I'm sure it's fine. Kill it! See him? <laughs> Do your job. Nice. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I know. I'm carrying too much. Always carrying too much. Can get rid of that. Assault rifle, combat rifles, all sorts of guns, laser pistols. He's like a fusion cell. It might not work unless they don't have other guns. I can't remember how that how that works to give him like unlimited ammo. Maybe he'll use. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just try giving him a couple need. rounds. Oh shit, I'm now I'm carrying too much. I don't want to drop. This. I won't bother picking those up. I don't need them. Put mine here. Shit, it's a legendary. Oh, 
I won't shoot Nick. Hey, who's there? Thought you could hide. wait to see what this guy does above me. Come on. Don't run out of bullets at some point. Can't that one. Oh, shit. I'm surprised I one shot that uh that legendary dude to be honest. Close. I forgot these guys. Yeah, having one bullet doesn't seem to be working for for this guy. You need to actually give him ammo. Because he fires one shot. He fires one shot and then he, uh, doesn't have any more. Crippling pool cue? No. Maybe Nick can carry it. Something for you? Take it. That? Something I can drop here. That was a bad idea. All right, I'm gonna die if I don't fucking just drop some of this stuff that I'm carrying. I don't need it all. Let's drop that. Let's see, I need... Let's get a little bit of food. Drink some water. Oh my... That's frustrating. I shouldn't have stayed slow. I would have been fine. I would have been fine. Cut the shit. Who is that? Trying to carry too much stuff with me. That's really what it comes down to.
I just I have to do this all in one shot. I can't. Because they know about me the whole time I'm in there, so there's no, like, camping and saving or whatever. I don't think that was legendary that time. Let him jump out. So I can take my drugs. I like the sound of those, those shells dropping. It's really good. Is that an egg? Please don't be feral. Guess not. Alright, does this guy have anything for me? No. Oh shit, that mine. I wasn't even here this time. It totally would have killed me. I wonder why it didn't spawn. Oh well. I wonder why that mine didn't spawn. It's so weird the way that, that whole thing works. I do want to grab some more water, though. I imagine for him to... I wonder if maybe it works if he just... He probably have to like remove all other weapons. He can't have multiple weapons, probably. Or maybe it only works for settlers. Maybe it just doesn't work for your follower. I don't know. This thing. I, I gotta get rid of this thing. For you. Okay, cut the shit. Who is that? Holy shit, did I just do that silently? <laughs> Stop moving. There we go. If only that would spawn the rest of the guys to come to come on around. So I don't have to fucking chase them up that ramp like I did last time. Doesn't work the best for me. 308? Yes. 
Come on! I dare you! Alright, let's just take it easy. No one to the right. That means they're up and around. Let's grab a grenade. Some sort of... Some sort of grenade type weapon. Not Molotovs. Yo! Curtis Prime, thank you so much for that follow. How's it going today, man? Good morning. Good morning. Er, yeah. Yeah, Curtis Prime, 96. Welcome. Hope you enjoy the stream. Molotov cocktails, bad idea. They're always... Always a bad idea. You're good? Awesome. Good to hear. What brings you here on this uh, lovely Saturday morning? It is still morning, right? I think it's 11.30 or so. Scared, huh? you should be. I'm not scared, you're scared. Uh-huh. This isn't going to go how you think. <laughs> Just chilling? Cool, man. Yeah, this isn't my usual stream day, but uh, I happen to have the apartment to myself, and I had left, um, I had died in this, in this building last, or er, yeah, yesterday. And I was just like, shit, I really want to, want to settle that, that score, you know what I mean? Settle that score. Some new streams to watch? Cool, cool. Um, well, uh, brief overview of my deal. Uh, I usually do one, one le uh, Let's Play um, uh, series. I usually have like a, a major game going on Let's Play, and then occasionally I'll jump in with some. Sorry, dealing with this. Um, I used to do like you know PUBG sessions. Uh, I'm gonna be switching over obviously to, to Black Ops Blackout uh, when that releases next week. Um, so yeah, I like to, I like to put that in between my Let's Play series. So yeah, this is my first playthrough of Fallout 4, actually. Um, I bought it, like, release weekend, and I just never, I never played it. For whatever reason. I think it's because I had just finished, like, a huge, like, third playthrough of Skyrim on, um, I was doing the Requiem mod, which is, like, basically a full survival mod in, in, with no fast travel and all that. Um, so, and that's actually what I'm doing here. So this is a, a blind playthrough of Fallout 4. And I'm running survival, which Gosh. means, you know, no fast travel, no saving unless you sleep. Um, you have to eat and drink and, and deal with all that sort of stuff. Um, and I have a, a couple mods just to sort of, like, balance that. Um, I have my, my see-through scopes for, for better uh, FPS action. Um, I got some ballistics mods. Yeah, I bought a few days after I came out, yeah. Oh. Yeah, did you did you finish it? Did you did you play the whole thing and beat it? This armor good for me? Hmm. Better radiation, but I'm not gonna. I think I'm gonna stick with what I got. I've played all the other, you know, I've played Fallout 3 a ton and all that. Never finished it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a long game. You can get, it's so easy to get sidetracked. Especially in the survival mode. Because, you know, I, there's no fast travel, so I'm like walking everywhere and I'm constantly like getting sidetracked doing, oh, you know, let's go check out this building. I mean, where I am right now is only because I was, I meant to be doing something else and I ended up in this building for whatever reason. Is this a safe room? Okay, it's got. Get some, oh shit! Shit! Holy shit! That was a close one. Let's relax for a second. It's fun, dude. I mean, as you as you probably know, it's it's Bethesda, so. <laughs> I mean, you're you're gonna have a good time for the most part. 
my uh, my brother's a bit older than me. He's got like you know family and kids and all that sort of stuff, and you know he hasn't played many many games since like you know original PlayStation, and he'd never heard of Skyrim, and it's it, you know he has a Switch, and I, I I got him started on that last time I saw him, and now he's just been like middle of the night. He's been playing the you know, it's like these Bethesda games. They they're good for just about anyone because you can get into the looting or you can get into the action or the role play. There's you know all sorts of different elements, even for. Even for people that, you know, don't play games as, you know, much anymore. And it also works for, you know, hardcore gamers, like, you know, we may might be, you know, it's... You can mod it up, you can, you know, super hard mode, any of that stuff. You play on PS4? Yeah, I played, I played Fallout 3 and New Vegas on console. And, uh... Yeah, it's good. It's good either way, obviously. Weapons workbench. I don't think I have enough stuff to be able to... Actually, I don't know if I need to upgrade any of this, to be honest. I think all my weapons are pretty solid at the moment. Maybe this one? Reflex sight, beam focuser. Oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough materials on me anyway. Are, are you playing anything right now? Anything, anything specific? That you've been working on? Alright, so there's nothing up there. It's just a turret. Just a turret to fuck with you. What do we got in here? Nothing. Destroyed. Nothing. Alright, you know what? Let's, let's throw down my camping gear real quick. So I don't have to redo this whole thing again. Gonna get back to streaming after a long break. Cool, man. Um, what did you... Back when you were actively doing it, what was your usual stream game sort of stuff? Like, what, you know, what kind of stuff did you focus on? Starting with Alien Isolation. That's a good one. Uh, I haven't played it. I've, I've watched a playthrough of it. That's a good one to stream, though. Scary games, man. They always... I don't like playing scary games, but they're always good for streaming. I just recently played uh, Dead Space for the first time on stream. And, you know, I, 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 you know, I did the whole game. Um, and it's, it's good. It's fun to be scared while people watch you. Anything you can't haul my way. Shut up, Nick. You have no more room left. You've told me multiple occasions. Yeah, I I don't want to play Alien Isolation, but it's <laughs> it looks like a blast. Until Dawn's another really good one. Yeah. Um, I played that in a group setting. Like, did a full playthrough from, like, starting at, like, midnight to, like, 8 a.m. kind of thing. It was a lot of fun. Um, BO3. I assume that's Black Ops 3. I'm really excited to get into, uh... To get into uh, Black Ops 4, I played the the Blackout beta, and man, it was just, it was a blast. It's just so nice to play a battle royale game that's like actually like done by a AAA studio. We got in there, Insta Mash. This month you've been playing horror games. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Um, I'm hoping to finish this game up. I don't know. We'll see. It, there's just so much game here. Um, I don't want to move on until I finish this one. Uh, but I think... I think Darkwood is going to be my next game. Um, which is a sort of, like, indie... It's like a top-down, survival, intense kind of horror game. Um, 
lot of atmosphere to it. I um, think I'll be doing that. Looks pretty cool. Status, that's what I'm checking. I'm overtired, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty. Uh, let's eat some cram. Cram it in. Drink some water. Yeah, a, a, but I don't know if you're familiar with Extra Life. It's like a, an all-day gaming kind of thing that, that people usually do. Either board games or like streams or whatever. A uh, buddy of mine's doing a 24-hour scary game stream. He's doing like five in a row or something like that. It's like, dude, I don't, I don't think I could do that. I'll play, I'll play like two. I'll play like two scary games and I'm gonna move on to something else. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I don't know. I didn't see that trap wherever it was. Paste. You done fucked up? Oh, that was a legendary. I melted her. Goddamn melted her. Rubble shooters automatic oh, later. Yeah. Ooh. Not great damage. Oh, it only has a standard capacitor. And a muzzle. So I could upgrade that. Not that I really need more guns. I'm doing pretty well on guns. Take those fusion cells, though. Always can use those. Hardened sniper rifle, no thanks. Does that mean there's a use for it right here? Is someone gonna be across the way? I'm surprised they didn't shoot me when I was down there. Must have not been paying attention. Yeah, I know. Staying up for 24 hours. Um, so I've done Extra Life for like three years. Um, I used to work at a game studio, and we would all get together at the office and do like uh, 24 hours of board games. And it, the last like, like you do really well until like the last four hours, and those last four hours are rough. Especially because then like by then you've eaten like you know half a pizza, you got all those carbs sitting in your belly. <laughs> like just like man, try to stay awake playing another round of a uh, you know. Some sort of board game or whatever. What helped last year is we did a, a bunch of us, we land together our, our PS4s and did the Destiny 2 raid. Um, that kept us going pretty solidly for like four hours of it. I see you over there. Who's out there? Oh! I didn't hit him! I don't think we're oh, 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 oh. Turret. Turret and dogs. Turret and dogs. Alright, alright. Jesus. You plan on building a PC eventually? Yeah. Um, did you did you used to have a PC and then it just like you never rebuilt it when it got old or whatever? Alright. Is there are we all safe here? No, there's still someone here. Like I assume originally you were streaming on a PC back when you were doing it. This guy had a minigun. Well, I can't, can't carry it. Yeah, I just, I can't carry any of that stuff. It's too heavy. Too much. Too much, too much. Can I sleep here? I can. Can I get five hours here? All right, I'm still tired. That's fine. I can deal with still being tired.
Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. It's fun, man. Doing the whole, you know, self-build. It really lets you customize stuff. This is my... This is my second built PC. Um, it's starting to get a little old. I think I built it like five years ago, maybe. Maybe going on six. I, I just got a new graphics card, though. I got a, a 1080. Um, which is, is doing quite well by me, but I need a new motherboard. I need a new motherboard and a new CPU probably soon. Marksman's Fiery Improved Automatic Laser Rifle. Uh, once again, is it better than my current? No, not a chance. Not a chance. I'll carry it for a little bit. You know, or you don't have to build your own, and you can just, you know... You can buy, like, through, like, CyberPower PC or Alienware or one of those, you know, just get get a decent one, let someone else do the work, which is totally fine. Sometimes you just want to play games, you know? What the hell is the point of this whole place? Am I done in here now? Let's just get out of here. I think we've done... I think we've done all the work in here that I want to do. I just gotta find my way back out. It cut you off? <laughs> what cut you off? I'm not sure what you're referring to. Where the... How the hell did I get out of this building? Oh, you don't know what setup to use? Uh, in terms of what? Um, in terms of, like, what pieces to buy, or...? There's the door. Here, let's get out of here. Let's continue on with our mission. We don't need to be in here. Oh, yeah. It, it takes some... It, it definitely takes a little bit of work to, uh... You know, to research what you want to do and, and what is... You know, what makes sense financially. It's so easy to get lost and just be like, Oh, just buy the, you know, the most expensive thing or whatever. And it's like, you don't always need that. Okay. We're back out here. Now what the hell were we doing? Oh, I know why we came in here, because we thought it was this road to freedom. We thought the freedom trail led in there, but apparently does not. Apparently does not. Dangerous minds. We want to talk to Dr. Amari. That's what we're trying to do. Why is that? Tell me the little, little mission deal. Come on, give me the, the synopsis. I just wanted to show me the synopsis. Apparently it's not going to, though. Alright. It's nearby, though. I know it's nearby. It's right over here. Past good neighbor. Okay. Good neighbor is dangerous, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I spent, like, a solid month or two just researching the parts that I wanted to use. You know, going on forums and... You know... Spent a lot of time on Newegg. Newegg.com. They even... You can even... Um, they'll, they'll sell you all the pieces in, like, a bundle that then you put together. That's a good place to start, just in terms of, like, looking at what they bundle together. I wonder if I should follow this Freedom Trail thing. How much did my system cost? Uh, I'd have to look it up, but I think everything altogether was like... 2300 2400 Um, And then since then, I spent another 
grand or probably another 1500 since then getting you know upgrading the video card and getting a new monitor and that kind of stuff I want to I want to do this freedom trail thing which way did I come from I don't know where this red line goes. That one, uh, that one loses me. Four L. Four L. Where's my notes? All right, four. Yeah, four L is the last one I got. I thought there was one directly across. Okay, yeah, this line. This line is probably the one I followed. So then this one is the one I should follow now. There was ghouls in this cemetery once before when I passed by. Two A. Two A. Okay, that's a different. Let's write this one down. Right, so I got seven A, four L. 2A. I don't know what these codes are gonna gonna mean eventually, but I'm gonna write them down. Freedom Trail, here we come. So I believe the Freedom Trail are the people that are like trying to figure out what the deal is with the Institute. Am I in a place that I can sleep? Good. Yes, good. I can hear you. But I hear something. Where is this guy? Alright. Looks like it goes oh shit. Oh it's him. Looks like it goes underneath all this rubble. Like that way. Oh, there's a guy. Oh shit, oh man, there's a whole, whole bunch of dudes. Yeah, <laughs> What'd you say, watch out for super mutants? <laughs> yeah, good thing I saved right there. Yo, survival mode is so brutal. It's so brutal. Even with all my armor and all my gear, all, you know, all my shit, my perks, they're still... They're still gonna one-shot you every once in a while. What was that? I should've been more careful and, and waited for them and watched a little bit more. But I didn't. What? Like, why is Nick over there? What are you doing, Nick? Wish I had my missile launcher. You know what? Let's... Ah, oh, come on, it's probably hitting, like, the, the geometry. Yeah, it's not even hitting. Bethesda, man. It's not... It's not a tactical shooter. Nick always got me killed. Yeah, totally, man. It, he always, like, gets caught on something. Or he starts a battle before I'm ready. Um, I, I was running most of the game so far without a follower. Um... And I only recently grabbed him. And it's just... It just sort of throws me off a little bit. That's alright. We can we can figure this out. Let's, let's get out of grenade range. Get in a spot where we can actually snipe them. There we go. See? Like that. Like that. Oh shit. Oh, 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 God, God, stuck on that. Stuck on that little outcropping. You know, I don't even need to fight these guys. I just... If I'm going to follow the Freedom Trail, it's like... I want to be able to go slowly. They have good aim. 
They have good aim. <laughs> you think this is bad, dude. The first like 10 levels when like bloat flies would one shot me. It's unfortunate. All right, so there's not really any cover over there. So maybe that's not a good place to be. It's just, it's hard to get a good line of sight here. There's just too much shit in the way. Maybe go over here and then move back. Like run back over there once I find them. Once I like start the battle. That could work. Nick, you're pointing the gun the wrong way. Got nothing. Oh, might be a bad grenade throw. Yeah, that was garbage. I'm just waiting for their grenades to start popping around. Is that a headshot? There's guys down that street, I think, too. Yep, yep, yep. Shit, those wrong grenades. Not hitting anything with my grenades. Shit, where they all go? There we go. Yo, did he take care of some business in here or what? Uh, I wouldn't say it's safe, Nick. Now it's safe. Alright. Now we should be good. Fusion cells, 556, five, yes, thank you. Stim packs. Wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. Alright, I, I don't actually need to, like, loot this whole place. Let's just keep on moving. <clears throat> As I continue looting the whole place. Alright, let's not get sidetracked. Let's keep moving. Alright, so we think... I think it probably continues this way. Okay, yeah, there's the line. What is this? Is this good, neighbor? It is. Never been to good neighbor, but I hear it's not particularly friendly. My mission wants me to go in there. Now a six. And an O. Six and O. God, I love love taking paper notes. Makes me want to go play like a, a mist like game again. It's been a while. Alright, where's this go? Sort of off in that direction? here. There's mines right there. And it goes this way. Oh, there it is. Down there. God, the city is always so treacherous. Tre treacherous. Fisher! Yeah, what's going on, man? Afternoon. Good morning. Whatever time it is. Problem is, if I jump down there, I can't get back to Good Neighbor unless I circle all around it. Three I. Three I. Well, the letters don't spell a word yet. At least as far as I can tell. Old corner bookstore. Well, I kind of want to go to a bookstore because if there's a... If there's like a skill book in there, 
That sounds kind of kind of nice. Oh, I've been in here. I hid in here once from a rad storm. Never mind. We don't need to be there. We don't need to be there. Yo, Fisher, I saw you played, uh, you loaded up uh, PUBG last night. How'd your, how'd your sessions go? I haven't played PUBG in a long time. Holy shit! <laughs> cool coming around the corner. Damn storm, I couldn't hear him. Just this one dude? There's gotta be more of them, right? Oh, he's like cooking. Just one guy hanging out up front, huh? Hold on, how's my how's my inventory space going? Oh, it's getting rough. It's getting rough. I can't even carry these bottles to start filling up on uh, on anything. I need to make it back to back to one of my settlements at some point. All right, there's the there's the trail. I don't know, this feels like a trap. I see you over there, buddy. Unfortunately, you didn't see me. All right. Can we sleep in the rain? I don't see why not. Sleep for four hours and see if I can I can get out of this storm. Wake still tired. Need some food. What do we eat here? Fancy lads. Tired, thirsty, all right. I think I got some water, right? There we go. You're here. You Who, where? Shit. Did good. Yeah, I know. I know I did good. Maybe you'll help me out one day, Nick. Five R. Oh. Place I like to dawdle. All right, let's write it down. Five R, and I hit level forty. Ding, ding, ding. Two more skill points. Not sure what I want to use them in yet. Fusion cells. Always want fusion cells. Always be charging.
What's through here? Perchance. Locked alleyway door. Nice. Holy shit. I'm gonna get stuck between mutants and freaking raiders. Alright. Did the legendary dude die? Yeah. Fortifying combat armor chest piece. 3737 with a strength and endurance. Here, let's take it for a second and see how it compares. Oh, yeah, it's not as good. Strength and endurance, but I don't think it's worth those drops in radiation, all, all the damage resistance. Uh, I wish I could carry it to sell. Maybe there's a gun I can drop instead. Yeah, like drop this. There we go. Alright, let's go back the other way. Let's continue the Freedom Trail. Did he die? Now he dead. Guys, there's a lot of fusion cells. I want them. Missiles? Ah, oh god, I can't carry a missile launcher now. Shit. This is too much. What am I gonna do? It's way too much. There's no way. Maybe I could just not carry the... I think I gotta drop the missile launcher, honestly. Let's drop all that. Let's eat a bunch of food. Six stealth boys? Jesus. Not not making enough enough space. Sort this by weight and see if there's anything else I can drop. Telephones, all that stuff. I really would like all that. I'd like to keep all that, though. These missiles. 17 missiles. They're just too heavy. Carrying a lot of ammo. That's a pound. Pound of bullets. That's not enough. Yo! Hans Bricks! How's it going, Hans? What are you up to? Maybe I can drop a couple of these? How many do I need to drop? Oh, alright. Well, I'll just drop a couple missiles and I'll hold on to a bunch. There we go. There we go. That's fine.
Okay, let's put our missile launcher on one of my quick, uh... Let's do number eight. Alrighty, just in case. Trying to sneak up behind me? Okay, Freedom Trail. Continue. Shit, it's dark. Where do we think it goes? Across the street? No. Oh, wait, there's... Okay, yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better be worth it. Sidetrack me for my missions. Rocket League and you're sucking. Dude, I miss Rocket League. Why don't you play on PS4? You just had to rebuy it on PC, huh? 8D next. 8D. Jesus, that's a whole lot of codes. 8D. It's gonna be... Oh, I wonder if the number... Maybe I have to rearrange the letters according to the number that it's with. So like the you know the letter that has number one to be first, etc. We'll try that. We'll try that once we find them all, if we find them all. PS4 isn't even hooked up, dude. Why? 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 Oh. I wonder if this is the end. The old North Church. This looks like the end. One R. Oh yeah. The trail ends right at the church. We did it. One R. Alright, so what if we do that? Hold on, hold on, let me bring that. Okay, so if that is, first letter is R. Second letter is A. Third letter is I. Four is L. Five is R. Six is O. Seven is A. Railroad. That's our that's our code. Railroad. PC Master Race. That's why. Okay, buddy. Listen, I like my PC too. You know. I like to use both though. Sometimes I don't want to sit at the computer. Sometimes I want to like you know recline, relax. We made it. Built in 1723, the Old North Church is the oldest standing church in Boston. It's 109 one-foot-tall steeple also makes it the tallest church in Boston. On the night of April 18, 1775, Lieutenant Colonel Smith marched with 700 British soldiers to Concord on a mission to disarm the rebels. Using a plan devised by Paul Revere, Robert Newman climbed to the top of his church and lit two lanterns to alert patriots that the Redcoats were coming. Thus inspiring Longfellow's famous verse, one if by land, two if by sea. And it started the American Revolution. Yeah, we know. So these are the guys who are fighting the Institute. Hello? Hmm. There's ghouls. There's a lot of dead ghoul bodies. A lantern symbol. Some more of these guys are going to get up, right? Even after all these years, it still feels sacred. Maybe it's this way? It's 
surprised if there's no traps, to be honest. All right, well, this is the right direction. Oh, it's always better. Like, Vats, Vats is not my way, to be honest. People have been down here recently. Oh, you don't have a great setup for console? I got you. Yeah, I have a... I have a big, like, recliner right next to my computer. So I have my computer, and then I have my TV and my PS4 right there. So I just get out of this chair, move over a foot to my recliner, ready to go. So that way I don't even have to like use like the, and then we have like the main TV room as well for like, you know, movies and all that. And like, she can play her PS4 in the, in the TV room as well. Ooh, more friends. Got the chills. This would be the place to provide them. The wrong scent. I like this place. It's creepy, but it feels good. All right, what do we got here? Imagine I have to do the whole the code. It's got to be the code. Okay. Hmm. It spins. Hmm. Does it matter which one I do though, or is it just do I just have to get the right letters? Hmm. I wonder. Assume R. So it starts with R. be fine. It's gonna work. Yeah! Hell yeah! It, was, it wasn't a particularly hard riddle, but it still feels good to, uh, to have it work out. Lights, maybe? No, not functional. Well, hey, dude, if it ever goes on sale again, I'll rebuy it. I just, I have all of my unlocks and all that sort of stuff on my other one, so. Stop Holy shit! There. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell are you? Mm. I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Who told you how to contact us? Make something, huh? I actually don't remember who told me. I 
I don't want to get anyone into trouble. We'll find out, one way or another. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. And you are Deacon. Where have you been? You're having a party. What gives with my invitation? I need intel. Who is this? Wow. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal out there. Who's Deacon? Have I met him before? Do we know each other? I didn't need to meet you to hear about you. You have made waves. The railroad owes you a crate. Hell, a truckload of Nuka-Cola for what you did to Kellogg. Mm. He was our public enemy number one. So you're vouching for him? Yes, trust me. He's someone we want on our side. I like Deacon. Things. So, stranger, why did you want to meet with us anyway? Save stints. Do I bring up the sun thing? I don't. I don't know that I want to essentially say. I, let's just, okay. Let's focus on the sun. My son Sean was kidnapped. I'm looking for help to find him. Someone stole your boy. That's terrible. Do you know who did it? For your sake, I hope the institute isn't involved. Kellogg kidnapped him. Well, you got your revenge. But that doesn't bring your son back. I'll have Deacon look into this. If anyone can find a lead on your boy, he can. If we're going to be dealing with you, I need to make sure we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I know what a synth is. <laughs> yeah, I know all about them. Good. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. Go on. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. All right, I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? I'm, it depends. It definitely depends. I, I don't think it matters whether it's a synth or not. It just depends on other situations. Could you elaborate? Answer with your gut on this, your heart. If you had to put yourself in danger to save a synth, would you do it? It depends on the circumstances. There's no middle ground with this. Would you There's absolutely a middle ground. Or not. This has nothing to do with whether it's a synth or not. It has to do with who that synth or human is as a person. Once, I pledged my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this as any different. Well said. We'll do what we can to look into All right, the missing fine. boy. Good. What the Institute has done to your family and others is what drives us. Normally, you're exactly the type of person we try and recruit. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. Yo, Deacon, you look like a man with a plan. Deacon, hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Your leader was just being cautious. Yeah, we know we're all on the same team. Exactly. Kind of killed our chance at a friendly first impression. Pixel, what's up? It's all good now. What kind of help you need? For you? Nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. As of right now, I'm not going to sell them out. So tell me, why did you vouch for me? I've heard a lot of things about you. Enough to want to give you a chance. So Des wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just going to come out and say this. The railroad needs you. We need each other. I'm not sure. I'll tell you the game plan. Then you decide. Okay. I got a job. Too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Des invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. 
What's the job? So up front, the only thing I'll say is that it's going to be a wild and dangerous ride. Sounds but great. Probably nothing new for someone like you. That's not very helpful. I mean, yeah, okay, let's Sign take me the job. up then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. You could totally fill me in ahead of time, but I guess I guess not. Uh, Pixel says we were trying to play Wildlands on Wednesday. All was okay. Today, same setup, same setup, and net offline. Did you ever encounter this problem? Um, I think so. Fisher, do you recall? Didn't didn't we have a a NAT offline issue once? I think that was a thing. Here, hold on a second. Um, I think we fixed it. Hold on, taking a look. I think it has something to do with, like, you play mode. Um... Ah, uh, man, like, what I'm finding online, it says stuff like, uh... You know, software conflicts, Windows Firewall, but I don't think it's anything like that. And port forwarding doesn't make a whole lot of sense if it was working previously. Um... I really feel like we did come across this once. Fisher, do you remember? Um, I don't know, did you check in did you check in like um in the in the game settings, like from the main menu, uh there's like a network tab in there? I'm gonna make sure uh, the setting is unchecked that says always oh, start you play in offline mode. But if nothing was changed, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, I imagine you Googled it as well. I just, I feel like I Googled it once and I found my answer and it worked. Hmm. Did you get like a, an error code that you could Google? Did you try port forwarding, like adding the Ubisoft ports to your router or whatever? That's a possibility. But you're right, I don't know why it would suddenly switch. Hmm. But it's also weird, Fisher, if like. You know, like, if it was working previously and nothing was changed, like, why would it suddenly be offline now? Is, like, Ubisoft server status, like, messed up somehow? I don't know if there's any way, there's probably some way to check that. And I know Ubisoft support's not gonna be helpful. No. Static IP, maybe your IP changed. But I think I I don't think I have a static IP and it's usually worked fine for me. I get, I wish I remember because I, I feel like this happened once for me before. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately I don't have a good Is there... Well, hold on. Have you, have you tried having someone else start the game and you connecting to them? I'm just reading, reading forum posts. Hmm. 
Are you on? Are you, I, are you on PC or are you on console? Because I'm seeing stuff that's like, I mean, this is specifically for someone that's on an Xbox One. Um, on Xbox One, they switched to a wired connection, tested the connect, like did the the test online connection thing, and then restarted the Xbox, and then the NAT was open again. Um, it was one of those. So I wonder if it's just like like try try restarting your router. Um, I mean I, that's so stupid. I know it's like turn the power off, turn it back on again. But it, like, and I know we all have done that a million times. But it's like it's it always surprises me how often it works. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not sure, man. That's unfortunate though, because um, especially when you just want to like you just want to sit down and play, and then uh, and you can't, you know. Um, but I, I hope I hope you're able to figure it out, because it's a fun game, as you know, from playing five hours the other day. Um, I think you can find that option in the main menu um, of the game. Uh, there's like a little like, there's like a settings thing up in the corner or something like that. Um, and I, I think it's a checkbox in there. I think. Okay. So Deacon wants me to go do some stuff. Can there's I? Demona. Come here again if you need to meet us. We'll know you're coming. Can I go back behind her? Is this another way out? Uh, you, wait, she just sits down here? There's nothing in here. Deacon, that means Deacon was just standing back here when he came out. He was just standing back here doing nothing. <laughs> it's like a dead end room that you just hang out in. And there was a bunch of, like, what are they doing on there? There's no food, there's no water. All right, it's sort of weird. But well, we're not gonna go do that mission right away. We're gonna we're gonna do what I was doing instead. Oh, missed those meds. Oh, I see you over there. Missed twice. Last one was a headshot. Suppose someone should make use of it. Oh, it's over here. Is there a reason to come up here? Oh, it's just another way up. There's multiple ways up. What's the latest update on Shovel Through the Wastes? Uh, well, we found the Freedom Trail. Uh, we found the Freedom Trail, and we talked to the, the guys who are trying to deal with the Institute. Um, and we also... I can't remember the last time you were here. Uh, I found... I found Kellogg, and I fought him, and I took his, like, brain cybernetic hookup, and I'm gonna bring it to this doctor so we can hopefully find out more information from his brain. So that's what we're doing right now. And it's going to be great. It's going to be great. You think at this moment it's good to start DLCs as I'm reaching endgame? Am I actually? Oh, that's kind of exciting. Um, that being said, I know the DLCs are supposed to be very good. I am not going to play them, though. So, at least not right now, um, because I, I have some other games I want to start streaming. conversation today, are you? Sure, ask away. It's just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and your, your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. Wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. 
Yeah, I'm all right. Huh. You're a tougher nut than I thought. Tougher than I was. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Um. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. And folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Broken mask? This was long before I'd moved to town, but apparently some gentleman type shows up in Diamond City, heads down to Power Noodles. Guess he didn't like the food because he pulled his... Oh, yeah, I did. I heard this story. Finally put enough uh -huh. Right, right. Malfunctioned. Went for, right, the, the guy came in. It was the first time we learned about the sense. Considering what these folks went through, I felt real lucky they let me in the front gate at all. Why did they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter, gal of about 15, pride and joy of the mayor back then, a man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand she'd uh, <coughs> known for an evening. Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. I didn't even know who I was rescuing, just stumbled on a crying girl and four tops. I took her home, and the mayor dubbed me a hero, offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested, said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. You're suddenly very talkative, Nick. Yeah, it might be disappointing, you know, if you're really looking forward to more Fallout 4 gameplay, Pixel. Um, and, you know, if people really want me to keep playing, you know, maybe I'll, I'll do it, but... I'm also super excited. I have like three games in my backlog, and I and also being October, I want to get a scary game in. So maybe I'll come back to the DLC me afterwards. The silent treatment, huh? You know, in the end, I do want to play stuff that people want to see me play, but also I want to stay fresh and not get like burnt out on a game because you know, as long as the more I'm the more engaged I am, I figure the more fun it looks like I'm having, and the more fun everyone else has as well. But uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I'm down. I'm down for options. Hmm. Nothing to say on the subject? Was it hard settling in? Well, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Hmm. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her. Talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb. Go get Nick. <laughs> After a while, the jobs got so Yo, up, FL. They didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff Welcome, anymore. buddy. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the synth, but it was Nick the detective folks came to see. It was about then that things... Uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it. And with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving? Yeah, sure. Uh, question, can I... Oh, no, I didn't want to... <laughs> I didn't want to open the door behind him. I did follow the Freedom Trail. Yep. Yeah. Um, I just did that. Hey. And, um, yeah. So, question. If I give him other clothes, will he wear them? What if I gave him... Oh, shit. Did I not pick him up in this? Maybe I put him down somewhere. I had picked up the silver shroud clothes... I was hoping I could give them to him and he would wear them. I, I wonder why I don't have them. I wonder, maybe I drop them somewhere? Maybe I decided they weren't worth it? I don't know. I don't think I would have dropped those. Uh, yeah, so I'm right outside the Freedom Trail thing. Um, uh, and I'm... I can, I can do the mission for the Freedom Trail guy. 
or uh, I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to this doctor that can read the, the remnants of the cybernetic parts of uh, Kellogg's brain that I have with me. They, they both seem to sort of go in the same direction. So, yeah, meet Deacon. This is that thing. And then Dangerous Minds is Dr. Amari. She's going to read read some, some old memories of Kellogg's brain, which I feel is also quite important. So wait, let's turn off Tradecraft. Let's go towards... I mean, I imagine there's different, like, endings or whatever, and that, like, maybe these sort of lead in the same direction, but, like, one of them leads to supporting one faction as opposed to another. What the hell's down there? Wait, is this actually the way I want to go? Oh, yeah, I guess I did go quite a bit north, following the trail. Alright, that's the bookstore. Oh, yeah, over here. Over here is where Good Neighbor is. Let me in. Let me in, don't hurt me. Should I probably save before I go in here? I mean, there's a lot of dead people out here. Oh, you know what? I think I need water and food. Yeah, I need all this stuff. Unfortunately, I don't... I don't have much water left. Good neighbor, huh? Oops, I mean, didn't want to equip it. I'm gonna drop it. Good neighbor's your favorite place? I haven't been here yet. Wayward husband to his mistress? Why? Someone stand you up? <laughs> Trying that, uh, what do you call it? Evasive language on me? And who are you, huh? Valentine's new dick in training? I like this guy. We're hiring, but, uh, I don't think you'd measure up. <laughs> oh, okay. hey -o. You just got the look of someone who's in the market for a little insurance. Hmm. Sarcastic or back off? <laughs> Sick burn, bro! You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Oh! I, I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. <laughs> you hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Oh, look at this guy. Valentine makes a rare visit to town, <laughs> and you're asking his friend here with that extortion crap. Good to see you again, Nick. Talk. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for you. Look at this guy. I said let him go. You soft Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. <laughs> let me tell you something. Oh shit! Why'd you have to go and say that? God huh? damn! My heart over here. You all right, brother? Yo, Hancock is a cold-blooded killer. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. <laughs> Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. No problem, buddy. Of the people for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. All right. I feel you. Of the people, for the people? 
<laughs> Brother. <laughs> I can tell I'm gonna like you already. Just consider this town your home away from home. So long as you remember who's in charge. Works for me. Just shoot him right in the back. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I'll be picking up a few of your things. Whoever this brotherhood of steel is, I'm not neighborhood watch. Come in peace, Marky. Yeah, I agree. Brotherhood of Steel is probably not the best. Oh, new face walks into my store, and you're not even screaming yet. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. Uh, yeah. See what, you got. what do you got going no, on here? No returns, exchanges, or death threats. Ooh. A dick doll. Though, actually, I've been okay. I haven't been using a ton of chems. <clears throat> you got a whole bunch of stuff. Shotguns, shotguns, things. 308 combat rifle? Holy shit. Is that better than mine? Yeah, it is. But it's also 308 rounds. Those are going to be tough to come by. 179A2. Doesn't have the range and accuracy, obviously. It's 21. Oh, it actually has lower DPS. The fire rate must be slower as well. Yeah, fire rate's much slower. I don't know. I don't think I need that, to be honest. It's cool, but it's going to be all over the place. Those 308s are going to be heavy to carry, too. I think I'll probably stick... Probably stick with them. I don't need. I don't need to buy new weapons. I'm fine. I'm just getting getting excited about how they look. Armor. Any new armors? All right, sorry. I'm gonna take care of something. Uh, all right, let's just sell some stuff. Time to sell. We got too much stuff on me. Uh, or maybe he has it all. Nick, Nick has it all. Here, buddy. Hey, what's the plan? Give me all your stuff. All right, he can hold on the assault rifle. We'll take this. Take this. Hunter's hunting rifle. Hmm. Assault rifles. I don't think he needs a sniper rifle. Or this. Auto pistol seems like it might benefit him, though. Three oh eight rounds. All right. Hey, Daisy. A well, Daisy. Don't bother telling Let's me. do some business. I'm probably older than whatever it is you're selling. Oh, hey. Yeah. Sure. Let's take a look. It's a little bit of everything. Okay. Automatic combat rifles selling. 
Furious Power Fist. I think I might sell this too. It's just too heavy and I'm not going to use it. It's a really cool design, but I'm just, I'm not a melee. I'm not a melee fighter. I'm not built for it. So I think it goes away. I think it goes away. I think this goes away. These two. That. Laser pistol. Hmm. Yeah, let's sell all that stuff, and then that way... That way we can buy a whole bunch of rounds from her. Fill up on ammo. The ammo I need. The ammo I deserve. bunch of 45 rounds. Do some fusion cells. I don't use a gamma gun. Four ninety six for a shit ton of ammo. Seems pretty legit. Shotgun shells. Do I want them? Do I need them? Probably not. I have that shotgun I'm carrying around, but I just, I never use it. No, I'm not going to buy them. Yeah, that's real good to hear. Oh yeah, there we go. Tons of ammo. Just wanted... And how's my inventory space? All right, well, we'll have to sell to someone else. A-L-E-O. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill Guy looks serious. Let's see what you got. A gun for every occasion. Hmm. <sighs> I think uh, sell his power armor piece. There we go. Devastator's chest piece. Oh, that's kind of cool. Devastator's right grieve. Does it really cost 16,000? Holy shit, it does! That's so expensive! That's so expensive. They're like, it's taken me all game just to build up like around 3,000 caps. Sixteen thousand caps. It's fucking ludicrous. It's ludicrous. Sell that combat rifle. What are all these mines? Frag mines I never use. They usually just get me into trouble. Now let's sell a couple of them. Buy some more ammo, I guess. 50 cal, maybe? Sorry, guys. Sorry, guy, catch me doing a whole bunch of, like, inventory management. There we go. Alright, good talking to you. Now what? Where's this doctor? Brotherhood of Steel, let us stay out of good neighbor. 
Hmm. I don't like the Brotherhood, I see. The old memory den. I heard you walked that freedom trail. Bought you some kind of political history buff. <laughs> I like the people in this town. They're fun. Sweet. They're fun. Well, well, Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten me about the loan. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Can I open this door? Bunch of rooms. To deal with these pods. Ooh. I do want to steal a stim pack. That sure doesn't look like it came in with us. What? Shut up, Nick. You need to relax. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. You're the one who can extract memories from a brain, right? Normally, we only allow our clients to experience their own memories. <laughs> Maybe that's not how I should have started the What's conversation. <laughs> we need a deep dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact living brains to function please nick told me you're the only one who can make this work this dead brain had inside knowledge of the institute amari the biggest scientific secret of the commonwealth you need this and so do we fine i'll take a look but no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Just about someone saying the goal about 20 times. Do you feel good about yourself? Was he AFK? Is that why you did it? <laughs> Here's what I could find. <laughs> that, What's this? That this isn't a base brain. thing. This is, <laughs> wait, that's the hippocampus. So like, look. <laughs> and this thing attached to it? Like, a uh... interface. This is what I got. Those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? <laughs> let's see here. Oh, look at this. Oh, I can take it. I can take I all this. To keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be bad. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. Just looting your whole the office. Impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. A lock on the memories. Hell yeah. Ooh, holotape game. What does that mean? I gotta go get something to unlock some, probably? It's probably the deal, huh? Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. 
run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Nick and I are going to share a mind. Yeah, I'm not going to see him in any compromising What's position. What's with his face? <laughs> yeah, the smart mouth was all it took to solve problems. We would have found his son. Just disgusted about his uh, whole thing. No, you won't have to worry about that. The only memories you'll access are the ones in the implant. I'm not ready for this, Doc. Okay, but I need to keep Mr. Valentine here until you're ready. I don't want him moving around with that implant still attached. Okay, so I am ready for this, but uh, this this had to be a short stream for today. Um, I wasn't actually planning on, on doing this at all originally, but I had a couple extra hours. Uh, but I gotta go get ready and take care of some stuff this afternoon. So I'm gonna call it right here. Uh, as always, I appreciate you guys. You're great. I love having you hang out. Um, and we're going to continue this, we're going to continue this on Monday. That's when we're going to continue this next. So, until such time, until such time as then, that's all I got. Thanks for hanging out. I'll do it on Monday. Have a great rest of your weekend. See you then.